Why is the Sengoku era considered the golden age of demon slayers? It wasn't just Yorichi's era that made it so special, but it was a nightmare for almost every demon at that time. When Kokushiba learned moon breathing and Yorichi was a sun breathing user, they were both nearly unstoppable. Yorichi taught every demon slayer about breathing styles, and some of the strongest breathing styles like wind breathing, stone breathing, thunder breathing, and water breathing were formed at that time. Also, it was the time when almost every strong demon slayer had awakened their marks and were killing demons like insects. The best part was when Muson encountered Yorichi and experienced the worst nightmare of his life, which traumatized him for centuries and forced him into hiding. Even though that golden era was perfect, it also had side effects for anyone who had awakened their marks was destined to die before the age of 25. That's one of the reasons why Kokushibo became a demon afterward. Other new generations avoided awakening those marks, and with time, that power boost diminished until Tanjiro reawakened it. The chain reaction was so intense that most of the Hashiras were able to awaken that mark during the final battle.